Welcome back everyone, my name is Davin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about Project Lombok. Now Project Lombok is basically a library which you can use in your Java project. Now it doesn't matter if your Java project is a standalone project or an enterprise project, you can use it everywhere. But why do we need it? In fact, I was working on Java for a long time and I have not used Lombok in my earlier projects. Why do we need it now? Nowadays, you know, we have so much of competition for Java. We have Kotlin, Scala, and both of these languages works on JVM. So of course, we all love JVM and then we, we also love Java. But the only problem with Java is we have to write a boilerplate code. In fact, a lot of boilerplate code. That's not the case with Kotlin and Scala, right? If you want to have a class and if you don't want to specify the getters and setters, we don't do that in Kotlin, right? We can simply use uh, data as annotation and then it works. What about Java? We don't have that, right? So if we have a simple class, we have to mention everything, the getters, setters, equals method, hash code, which will make your code look very big. And we, know we don't need that. So if you want to improve your productivity, we can use Project Lombok to avoid all the boilerplate code. So we'll understand that with an example. So we'll write an example and let's understand that. So before that, let's go to the official website of Project Lombok. So if you can search for Project Lombok on Google, uh, it will give you some search results. Let's click on that. And you can see this is the official website, a very simple one, nothing much. So basically this is a project powered by this companies here and you can be a support too. Maybe they will ask you for donation, but that's not important. In fact, they also have a small video here which, which you can and watch to understand how can we use that in your project and then if you want to use it you have to click on this download here so the latest version is 1.18.8 uh, that works so you can just simply download this and it will give you a very small file which is uh, lombok.jar uh, let's skip it and it, you will get it so it is a very lightweight file you can see it's only 1.6 mb so we got a project Lombok jar file in the, in the system now. Now once you got it, you let's open the Eclipse so to use that. So I'm opening Eclipse here. So this is Eclipse ID. You can use any ID for that matter. In fact, uh, if you go back to the project, there is a steps to install this on different uh, IDE. So you can see if you can install that on Eclipse. So just click on Eclipse and it will show you the steps how to install that on Eclipse. But we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. So, so let's get back to Eclipse. And let's create a simple project so that we can use Project Lombok here. Uh, as I mentioned, you can create any project. We are going for a simple Java project. Uh, you can go for the enterprise project or web project. So let me say create a Java project. If you don't have option here, you can click here and you can say new. Create a Java project. Is that so project and mention Java project. Click on next. It will ask you for the project name. I would say LB demo, which is a Lombok demo and then uh, nothing much click on finish you will get your java project now in this java project we need to add the jar file for lombok but even before that let me create two simple classes one will have a main method just to test it and the another one will be your actual class you know so let's say a new uh, let's let's create a class and we'll name this class as runner uh, we should also mention the package name because that's a good practice but since we are learning let's ignore that and we also need a main method let's check that and you can see we got a code let me just zoom it a bit that's perfect so you can see we got the code here a main code but with this we need one more class which is for let's say alien we are working on alien from a long time let's stick to alien in alien we need certain variables now basically you know what happens in java when you create a class uh, we have different types of class you know class which will connect with database a class which will hold the data for example, if you are working on some enterprise projects or a web project, let's say Spring a project. Uh, in Spring, we have Spring MVC as well. So if you want to create a web project, we will be using Spring MVC. Now MVC stands for Model View Controller, where model is the class which will hold the data. Or you can say model is the object which holds data. So those type of classes which is only created to hold data, we can call them as a model class or a data class, right? Uh, in fact, we normally do that in Kotlin as well. So we already have a video on Kotlin. So I will try to link that uh, video in description. How can we use this feature in Kotlin without using Project Lombok? Uh, so yes, Kotlin is awesome, right? But let's say, let me just have some variables here. I uh, will say int. Uh, let me just have a variable name as, uh, let's say, age. So as an alien, you also have your age. And let's make it private, right? That's the thing we follow. You have to make sure that all your variables are private. This is not specific to Lombok. This is specific to the Java coding standards. Make sure your variables are private and if you want to access them you need to have getters and setters uh, so we got this first variable let me just create one more i will say private string name 
name and private string tech. So we have three variables here, right? Age, name, and tech. Now for these three variables, you need getters and setters. That's what we do, right? Because if you go back to runner and if you want to access alien data, I will, not, I will just create two sections here. So we, on the left-hand side, we have runner. On the right-hand side, we have alien. So you can see from here, you want to create object of alien. So you will say alien obj or maybe alien a1 equal to new alien. So you got the first object. And if you want to access these variables, you can see we can't do that. If you want to say a1.age, uh, it will give you error because age is a private variable. And the only way to access that is with the help of getters or setters if you want to assign the value and we don't have it here so what to do so basically we have to create getters and setters uh, as a programmer you have to do it right you have to type public void set age and then it will take a variable which is age and then you have to say this dot age uh, we all do that in every everyday project right so we create getters and setters now you will say hey you don't have to do that right uh, since you are using an ide maybe eclipse intellij or sts doesn't matter which one your ide will give you this so you can simply right click and say source generate getters and setters depend upon which variable you want let's say i don't want tech here so for tech i do need uh, let's say setter or maybe i get i don't want setter for that so you can do that so you can simply click on generate uh, so you can see we got uh, age and name both get and setters so on right hand side you can see we have an outline uh, we have get age set age uh, get name set name but let's say i want a getter only for tech so in that case you will right click you will say source uh, you will say generate get and setters but not both i just want getter click on generate uh, oh we also got setter let me just remove setter so let's say i don't want setter i just want getter so your eclipse will give you all these things and now you can say a1 dot so you can say set age, uh, you can say get age, you got all the methods here. But not just this, maybe if you want to compare two objects, so you got two alien objects and if you want to compare them, we normally work with equals methods. So you have to do that, you have to right click, you have to say source, uh, generate uh, hash code and equals, put all the variables, generate, and you can see such a big code, uh, I should be decreasing the font now so that we can see the entire code. You know, this is what happened. This is a very simple class. We have not written any logic by ourselves, right? There's, there's no complex logic. It's just that getters and setters, hash code, equals, is taking how much lines? 54 lines, actually. We don't want that, right? So we don't want all these things. So if you, if you can avoid this, that will be great. And this is what we call boilerplate code, right? This is not the thing we do in Kotlin, right? Let's remove this. See, by no means I'm saying Java is bad. I'm a Java developer, I work on Java a lot. So I love Java, it's just that Java has some great features with one or two drawbacks. If you can remove that, Java will be a great language. And that's what we are trying to do here. So I don't want to write any data setters, but it should work. And to do that, we have to use Project Lombok. So in Project Lombok, you can simply write here. So you can just go back to your class. I'm in public and between your public and class, just mention at data. That's it. Just mention this annotation. It will give you all getters and setters. I know you don't trust me, right? It is not even working here. If you can see, it is asking for the import and we don't have it here. You know why? Because in this project, we have not included Project Lombok. To do that, so let's right click here and say build path, configure build path. And here we have to go to libraries, add external Java files. So remember we have downloaded Lombok. So I have taken that and I have uh, saved it in uh, a desktop lips folder. You can have it anywhere. So let just select that and click on open. By doing this, you are adding the project Lombok jar file in your project. And that's done. You can see we have a jar file here. And if you say control space, that's done. Can you see that? We got the import, it is coming from Lombok. And look at the on right hand side. On right hand side, you can see we got all the methods here. Look at the outline. We got get age, get name, get uh, get tag, all the methods, set age. We are not doing everything inside the Java class. That's it, we got all the getter setters, we got all the hash code equals method, everything which we needed in this project or in the in, in the alien class. But what after compilation? Uh, so this thing only works on the editor level, okay? So when you write as a Java developer, when you mention a data, behind the scene it gets converted into the actual class which has getters and setters okay so the moment you compile this you will see all the methods there so this is only for the java developer on the what you say developers level okay but then it might not work or it, it, in fact it will not work on your eclipse directly so before making a video i have tested it on eclipse so i i had a plugin here so if you are doing this for the first time this will not be there you have to install lombok in your eclipse in fact if you go to help and if you click on about Eclipse that you can see Lombok is there in my Eclipse. So before the video I have done that, 
It's a very easy step actually, you don't have to worry about that. So just go to the, uh, go to the place where you have Lombok uh, downloaded, double click on that, it's an executable JAR file. It will open something, you can do this on the command line as well, but let's do it a uh, GUI way. So when you double click that, it will detect all the IDEs which you, which, which you have in your system. Uh, so you can see we have Eclipse here. I also have STS, maybe I have to open STS, or maybe you can specify location as well, if you want to have a separate IDE available. So if, you, if this Eclipse is not coming here, you can specify location as well. Uh, click on specify location, go to the project where you have it. Now since we got Eclipse here, and I will simply click on install and update. So you can see it says installation successful. Now once you have done that, just restart your Eclipse. Okay, so close your Eclipse and reopen it. You will be having the Lombok available in your project. And that's awesome, right? You can create multiple classes, just write add data, it will give all the methods. But what if you don't want all the methods? You want, be, you want to be specific. You can see the moment I remove that, everything gone from the outline. So let me say I just want getters and setters for age. In that case, you will say, so just before age, in fact, you can do that on uh, on the class level. So if you want getters and setters for all, just write getter and setter, that's it. The moment you do that, uh, so you can see we got get age, get name, get, uh, get text. So we got all getters and setters, but equals and hash code is not available for that. You can say equals and hash code. So you can see now you will get two methods as well those two methods. So this is working, right? This is one thing you can do. What if you want to specify on the variable level? So for age, you want getter. So you can say add getter, even that works. So you can specify that on the method level as well. What about constructor? So if you want a uh, no argument constructor, you can say no args constructor. So you can say you can specify no arg constructor, it will give you a constructor. So we have so many methods available. So you can simply say control space, it will give you the list, you can use whatever you want here. So if you want to use log, you can use log here as well, which is coming from Lombok. Uh, we can also have two string methods. The moment you say two string, it will give you two string method as well. Can, can you see that? Uh, so if you can assign the values, let's say a1 dot set, uh, I just need to have setters for name. And then I can say a1 dot set name, I will specify the name as what? Uh, let's say Naveen, and then uh, you can simply print the a1 object. You don't even have to say a1.getName, it will give you value because of two string method, right? Uh, so if I select Java application, you can see we got the value. So you got age zero because we have not assigned it. We got name as Naveen and tech as null. So yeah, that's how you can use Lombok in your project. So yes, it's an external Java file, but then that's fine, right? It will improve the productivity. So that's about Lombok. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for other videos. Bye.